coming early 2nd of November 2021. Year's nearly over. Um, uh, I hope you're all doing well and nice to see you here. Uh, people are just beginning to come in. Um, this little fella down here is, uh, you'll see who it is shortly um, when we send out a video that Eusebio did of an interview, really good interview um, from on both sides by the interviewer and Eusebio. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so my PowerPoint does that. And it's back. Um, but I'm here with Eusebio and Craig. Hey guys. Hello, Chris. Hello, Craig. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you in this scrolling party. So I hope you are all fine and all safe. And so let's try to make a good party. Uh, hey, everybody. Nice to see you at the party today. And I'm like Eusebio. Let's party. Uh, Chris, did you say it was November or did I misunderstand? I might have. Anyway, just so everybody knows, it's October. And uh, I do have a, a good tip for you today. Chris, did you know that this is one of the peculiarly dangerous months to speculate in the stock market? Uh, no, Craig. Why is this one yeah, of yeah, it is. And the other dangerous months are July, January, September, April, November, May, March, June, December, August, and February. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we got that one out of the road really quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you no <laughs> problem. <laughs> um, okay. Um, right. So what we're going to blast through today is the uh, get onto the news watch now. Um, if anybody's got questions about price levels, uh, Shan or Jovan, if you still have them, let me know. We went through them in a previous scrolling party, so um, I don't want to go through it again. But if you do, no problems about it. Um, and uh, if you have any particular questions that you want brought up, let me know. Um, there were some questions from the recent uh, standard course in the homeworks, but I uh, kind of addressed those in the in the session itself, so we won't go through those. Um, coming up this week on Friday is non-time payroll day, and you said we will be running a, another, or the second workshop for the SAM course. Um, <clears throat> Craig tells me it's compulsory enrollment for all SAM members, so uh, we're expecting you all to enroll. Uh, only the SAM people, though. Um, and it's in conjunction with the non-farm payroll, so there's no open non-farm payroll. It's 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 a paid for session. And uh, once we've got through the news watch, and any questions that you've got, uh, hey Robert, um, then we'll just open grab a chart at random and walk through it. So if you've got something that sort of befuddled you this week or was a bit tricky or that you think is interesting, um, let me know and I'll, I'll sort it out. Uh, so, and this little fella down here is Eusebio, in case you're wondering. Uh, he's trying out some new eyebrows. Um, <laughs> very black. <laughs> um, and uh, it'll be a little video that we'll send through soon. Um, he's extolling the virtues of the Macs there. Anyway, um, it's just nice to see him after all these years. Okay, so uh, let's get on to the news watch. Um, let me pull this up. Uh, pull this one up and this one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so um, longer term issues, Eusebio assures me there's no nothing lurking in the background there. So uh, I updated, what was it, the Evergrande issue last week to monitor it as it could, could cause a bit of a crash around the place, um, uh, like a domino effect, and let's hit the news watch itself. So, yeah, co concerning Evergrande in Chennai, we have to watch uh, closely because they have failed to pay their um, uh, yeah, their model. interest. Yeah, and so we will see what the central bank, the Chinese central bank, will do. <clears throat> mm. um, I meant to listen to a, a report on it yesterday. Forgot. So, okay. If there's anything there, I'll let you know. So, sorry, you said you have to go away. 
<laughs> and okay, so let's do this. Uh, Sunday, third of October. Okay, Sunday. So know that it is a bank holiday in uh, Australia and in China, but uh, we still have to monitor the OZ MI inflation gauge month over month. Then on Monday we have the Swiss CPI month over month, uh, all time frames. Yep. Then uh, monitor the OPEC meetings. Okay. The two lines with the OPEC meetings, yeah. Uh, then what do we have else? Monitor the QE and the uh, IER business confidence. Yep. Then I will monitor also the Tokyo core CPI year over year for the yen. Okay. Uh, again, a bank holiday in China. Uh, then Ah, we have a big one uh, in red with the Aussie um, Reserve Bank of Australia red statement and cash rate, so high impact. Okay, uh, trade balance. Uh, oh, sorry, I have missed the trade balance. Yeah, uh, all time frames. Okay. But of course, in this case, the, the, the cash rate will supersede the trade balance. But anyway, we never know. Sure. And then monitor the yen 10 year bond auction. Okay, scrolling. I have a little friend with me, so I might get interrupted. So, um, on Tuesday, <clears throat> what is the talk by or the speech by Kuroda? Kuroda. Can we check that? <clears throat> Due to speak at an online conference hosted by the task force on climate related financial disclosure. No, no important at all. Uh, okay. Uh, then, 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 then. Uh, we have the CAD trade balance and the US dollar trade balance, uh, all time frames. Yep. Then um, I will monitor the US dollar ISM services PMI. But simply monitor. Then we have all time frame with the Kiwi GDT price index. Yep. Then we have Lagarde speaking. Okay. Due to speak in Frankfurt, okay, that's interesting. So, but uh, let's forget it. Uh, Quarles, similarly, <laughs> due to speak about the labor, uh, labor trans transition and the structured finance association. No, let's forget. Uh, okay. And we have another, yeah, bank holiday in China, and another big one with the Kiwi official cash rate and the rate statement. Okay, uh, biggest and high impact, or not big enough? I impact, yeah, yeah. Uh, any uh, cash rate, uh, any interest rate announcement um, will be uh, always a high impact. Sure. Always. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, uh, we have the pound construction PMI under H4. Monitor? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, 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 under H4. We have uh, the US dollar ADP non-farm employment change under H4. Bostic. Then we have Bostic talking, yeah. To, to speak about rural economics at the American Rural Prosperity Summit, no, let's forget. Uh, crude oil inventories to monitor. Oh, where do then, you go? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's, there's no crude oil up here. It has has been added recently. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I better edit. Just hang on. Ah, come on. How did it go? Oh, I could have just overwritten him. Anyway, okay, so monitor. Yep. Um, then we have Bostic talking again, a second time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he is there. Yep, that's okay. No, no, no. No, Bostic. Bostic. Oh, that's just testing you. <laughs> Due to speak about uh, public leadership at the University of Georgia lecture event. No, let's forget. 
Um, again, a bank holiday in China. Yep. And that's it for Wednesday. On Thursday, on Thursday, we have um, the pound Halifax HPI, which is the housing price index month over month uh, under H4. Yep. Then uh, we have to monitor the Euro, Spanish, and French 10 year bond auction. Ah, yes. <clears throat> then uh, monitor the Euro ECB monetary policy meeting accounts. Yep. Then uh, monitor the US dollar unemployment claims. Uh, sorry, monitor the ECBs. Monitor, yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by Joven. Uh, Joven, um, if you want to go through price levels, let me know, because you had some issues with them, but you might have worked them out by now. Um, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, back to you, Xavier. Okay. So we are at the unemployment claim. Then we have William speaking. Okay. <clears throat> Due to the opening remarks or opening also, let's forget. Yep. So. Uh, okay. Monitor natural gas storage. Yep. Then we have Maclem speaking. Okay. From the Bank of Canada. Due to speak about global financial architecture at an online event hosted by the Council of on Foreign Relations. Now perhaps the subject is interesting, but um, no impact for me in the market. Uh, then we have the yen current account, all time frames. Yep. Monitor the Aussie Reserve Bank of Australia Financial Stability Review and monitor the Chinese cash in services PMI. Okay. That's it for Thursday and Friday. Friday we will have uh, monitor the pound FPC meeting minutes. Okay, uh, not that one. No, the meeting minutes. Yep. Okay. Monitor. And uh, <clears throat> monitor the FPC statement. Yep. Monitor the pound Bank of England quarterly bulletin. Yep. And then we have a big one uh, with the CAD and the US dollar, both the equivalent of the non farm payroll. So, just a reminder um, Eusebio is running a SAM workshop over that period for the non-farm payroll. Uh, probably you'd be using your new tweaked version of SAM too, won't you, Eusebio? Sorry, Chris, what? You'll be using your tweaked version of SAM. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, because now it is the, the official SAM. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, slightly different settings in some of the stuff. So if you want to um, have a look at what it's doing or uh, just a refresher for it, then this is the thing to go to. Great, it's paid for. And uh, Joven, I was able to get it up and working. I do have to figure out how to clean it up. All those horizontal lines are throwing me off my chart. You can turn them on and off, Joven. Um, you can, okay, I'll show you that in a minute. So, okay, that's cool. Um, and what else? Uh, actually, plus Francis. Yeah, I'm Something not surprised, like Francis. I, I see your emails, and I'm not surprised with your result because with the max sum, the, the tweet max sum, we have lots, lots of opportunities to trade. Uh, almost uh, during the entire day, whatever the, the session, the Asian session, the European session, the US session, that's really, really amazing, fantastic. Okay, and. Uh, the top 10 pairs. So we'll carry on with Newswatch. We'll flip back. Um, I've marked Francis down there. I think it's you, Francis. There's two people with the same name in the group, Francis and Francois, and I keep mixing them up. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, top 10 pairs are here. Uh, they're the same pairs as last week, uh, except there might be a slight change in the order, but they're still the same top. Um, the volatility is increasing slightly. Still not nice, but um, it's still there. 
Um, and how far down on the list do you want to go, Eusebio? Uh, you can go down to the, let me check, uh, not so, well, you can take up to, uh, down to the euro pound. Oy. I thought you'd say that. Yeah. So I, I have, um, there it is, as they say in France. Oh, I didn't. I thought euro pound would be too far, but okay. Oh, I did, down to the euro pound. These are just from yeah. last week. Okay. Um, sorry, I forgot to do my mantra, which is uh, you'll have noticed that the pairs are marked uh, monitor all time frames and under H4 at, at certain points. Where's the unders? Or oh, anyway, some are marked under H4. So depending on the time frame you're trading, um, if you're trading all the, like any time frame under H4 or all time frames, like including dailies, then if there's news coming out, don't place any orders one hour before that particular news is coming out. Um, and <clears throat> get out of the trades within half an hour of that news coming out. Um, so that applies to all time frames. Under H4 just applies to like the smaller time frames. Monitors you can just sit by and, and watch. Um, and the ones with high impact here uh, are particularly interesting because they're likely to move the market quite a bit. So be really careful with these, um, no matter what pair you're trading. And I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, but uh, you could also wait for them, like Eusebio did once, uh, sat at his machine for eight hours waiting for the news to come out on the yen because they don't announce when they're going to announce things, um, and uh, made a huge number of pips from the, the movement of it as a result of it. So, um, okay. So as well as avoiding them, you can use these, uh, <laughs> I'm really off my game. One week and I just completely forget. You can uh, use the news to get into good moves perhaps, and the high impact ones should move quite a bit afterwards. Um, the other thing that I need to point out is this, I'll pull this across, is that uh, depending on the currency, uh, de depends on how you react to the news. So for any news coming up on the euro, the US or the yen, any pair is impacted. So even if it doesn't include uh, the euro, US or yen in it, any pair could be impacted by this news. So you could be trading the Aussie Kiwi and news coming out on the euro can still make it jump around. On this, the other end of the scale, on the smaller currencies, these ones here, news coming out on that um, may not was likely to impact those pairs that have that particular currency in it. So like the um, US Swiss, for instance, um, would definitely be careful of. But if you're in the Euro US or the Euro Yen or something like that, then because it's a smaller currency, it's less likely to impact the bigger currencies, the bigger pairs. However, not always. Um, I've seen news coming out on the Kiwi that's made the pound dollar jump. Uh, so it can be a bit surprising. The pound sits halfway between them. So sometimes it's it's a big boy and sometimes it's a, a little currency. So just um, decide for yourself which one it is. It's too much involved to get into it to, here to um, say if it's going to be impactful or not. Okay, enough of that. Uh, the top 10 pairs we've just been through, so I'll just pull this across here. And now Eusebio does his magic trick where he, uh, get that going like so, where on each day we look at, <clears throat> uh, we've got the list of the top tens and we'll match up the news for that day with the, with the uh, top ten pairs to find out which ones are better for monitoring for that particular day, which are likely to give you a good good result. So, um, um, and we just look at them up to the 5 p.m. New York time. Uh, so anything past that we regard as being in the next day. So on Sunday there is nothing. And on Monday we have uh, the Swiss. The Swiss, Swiss, okay. We ignore monitor and uh, 
the Aussie comes in at eight thirty, so that's after five pm. So there's only the Swiss on the Monday. You say the Swiss. Okay, so we will have the pound Swiss or the pound yen. Okay. Then we will have the pound US dollar or the right. pound CAD. Where did that go? Hang on, help. Okay, sorry, what was it? Pound um, US or pound CAD. No, this will do. And then... Oh, hang on, hang on. Missed that one up. And then we will have the US dollar card or the pound kiwi. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, and on Tuesday, we've got leftovers from Monday, which are the Aussie. The Aussie, yeah. Aussie, 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 and what else? On Tuesday itself, we've got the CAD. The CAD, so CAD here and here and here. Uh, the US dollar. The US dollar here, here, okay. And uh, the Kiwi, which will appear on both sides because we don't know. The Kiwi, yeah, the Kiwi, the GDT price index is generally uh, released around... Um, around the Frankfurt close, in fact. Okay, so towards the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so we will have... Do you want to keep it in the, in the Tuesday yeah, yeah. and not, not yeah, put yeah, it on yeah, yeah. Wednesday? No, no, we will keep it for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Okay, cool. That's cool. So, so we will have um, the US dollar card or the pound US dollar. Uh, US dollar card... Oh, or okay. pound US dollar. <laughs> I think I overwrote one, but yeah, cool. Yeah. Then we will have the pound card or the pound kiwi. That will do. Yep. Then we will have the Euro card or the Euro Kiwi. Euro card or the Euro Kiwi. Yep. And that's it. Oops. Okay. Uh, so, leftovers, we've still got the Kiwi because we're not too oh, sure yeah. if it comes out late Tuesday, um, and uh, we've got the Kiwi coming up anyway on Tuesday. Anyway, yeah, okay. Yep. And uh, that's it? Uh, not yet. Uh, no. The pound? Uh, the pound, so pound, 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 and pound, okay. And the US American dollar. The US dollar, so here, here, okay. And that's okay. it. So we will have the pound US dollar or the pound Kiwi. pound US dollar or pound kiwi, then the euro kiwi or the pound yen, euro kiwi or pound yen, <laughs> okay, change the one you have already there. Okay. The, sorry, what was it? The euro, uh, euro kiwi. kiwi or pound yen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll completely rewrite it. Rewrite it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then we will have the pound Swiss or the pound card. The pound Swiss or the pound card. Okay. So leftovers from Wednesday are nothing. Nope, nothing. And on Thursday we have. Uh, the pound? Uh, the pound, so pound, 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 and pound. 
and that's it. And that's it. Okay. So we will have the pound yen or pound Swiss. Pound yen or pound Swiss. Just change the pound euro dollar into pound yen Swiss. No pound Swiss or pound yen. Then we will have the pound US dollar or pound card. Okay. And then we will have the pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Pound kiwi or pound Aussie. Ah, it's the first time uh, the kiwi and the Aussie yeah. comes together for some times. This <clears throat> doesn't mean anything though. No. And no. Uh, we tolerate them. They gave us COVID. <laughs> okay. And uh, the next one is, so leftovers, we've got the, on Thursday is the yen. The yen, yeah. Um, and on Friday, we've got the CAD and the, the US. The CAD, 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 and the US, so US here, here. Okay. So we will have the US dollar CAD or the pound US dollar. Yep. US dollar card or pound US dollar. Then we will have the pound card or pound yen. Pound card or pound yen. Yep. And then the euro card or the pound Swiss. Euro card or pound Swiss. Ah, uh, that one. Euro card or pound Swiss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, check for sessions. Pound Asian 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 Asian. Yeah, we covered the three sessions. Not this every one. day. Yeah. Oh, That's the correct. Yeah. The yen. Okay. Uh, we, oh, oh, okay. Yep, we've got the yen there. That's cool. Uh, so I'll save this. So if anybody's got any questions about this, let me know. What I'll do is I'll put these up on the website.